So hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we will cover this amazing lab and many of you are facing issue so let's resolve it first of all click on start lab and if you are new to this channel do like the video and subscribe the channel now just open the cloud console incognito window now it will take some time so wait for it now basically if you want to complete other skill badges pre-assessment skill badges and lab free courses you can check the description now just click on i understand and just wait for some time for the console to get open now once it is ready you will get a one kind of pop-up like this you have to just click on i agree and then click on agree and continue so once all these things are done come over here in the description box i've shared this repository we'll be taking help from it now just right click and open an incognito window basically we have to copy this app okay so for that we need to just click on the copy app and then we have to just sign in so if you have already signed in using the console then you have to just select the google uh, like this okay just like this just follow the video as i am doing you have to just select like this and if you haven't signed in to the console you have to just enter the user id and pass now here just click on allow it will take some time so wait for it now here we are signed in now just click on this button it will copy the app for the name you have to just copy this name also cross verify from task number one whether they have updated the name or not here it is same so just update it like this and click on copy app it will be updated and after that we have to download one file to our local system basically to our pc or mobile phone whatever you are doing for lab now first thing is that get to your drive just click on right click over here let me show you you have to just right click and open in incognito window now from here we have to open the tickets so click on this app sheet just follow as i am doing and you will get full score the issue has been resolved which you all are facing now just click on data just click on this if you get any unwanted pop-up you can click on it now just open the tickets okay now from here you can see we have to just download this file just right click open incognito window and you have to just download this file to your local system okay just click on download it will take some time and just download it once you have downloaded come back to the ticket section and there we have to just export the file so just remove this unwanted pop-up now here just click on file import and then you have to just click on upload option and just upload the file which you have just now downloaded okay just downloaded file you have to upload and from here once you are done with this you have to just click on replace spreadsheet like this and import data and it will be available soon so just come over here and here just come to the lab instructions and check the score for task number one and task number two uh, yes task number one and task number two now task number three and four is little bit upgraded so you need to follow as i am doing in this video so just stay tuned and meanwhile in case you haven't liked the video yet to like it and subscribe the channel now just open the app script in cognito window from here you have to just click on new project now here come back to the github repo here cross verify again the name because sometimes what happens they update the name right so you need to take care of it now just update the name and this is the latest tutorial so you will not face any issue now copy this prompt code and just save it once all these things are done we have to configure the auth consent screen so right click over here and open in cognito window now many of you may face difficulties in finding the auth consent screen so how you'll find it i will tell you do not worry about it so here it is opening now if you are unable to find come over here click on it api and services you see here you can see auth consent screen so you have to just click it and then you have to just get started the page will look like this let me show you how it will look so come down over here and i am making this video slowly so that you will able to complete this lab so now app name is here we verified the app name is same as per the lab instructions so we are using the same name so just copy the name over here paste over here add the user support email then next 
type will be internal and the next step is that the username we have to update so just click on next and paste over here so once you have done this click on continue and just create it now all these things are done over here now we have to just work with the chat api so how will do it come to the github repo i've shared the url there also now just right click over here open an incognito window now here the chat app api will be shown over here so we'll be using that only and we have to just modify some of the changes and many of you are facing unnecessary errors we'll cover this also so do like the video and if you face a single issue you can let me know in the comment section i'll be there to help you all guys so just wait finally it is loaded wait for some time till the settings are populated so finally it is available now make sure the first one is on ticked basically ticked now for the app name come over here select the app name i am repeating if the app name is updated you can check the lab instruction now right click over here and copy the link address paste here and for the description also copy from here to here just update the description now here you have to click on join species and group conversation okay now once you have done this click on app script now here we have to add deployment id and many of you are facing issue on this particular task now here come back to the basically here you can see they have mentioned how we have to enable that deployment id but this is not clear many times the deployment id is not shown over there so here first thing is that open the cloud console and just copy the project id how you have to open basically first of all let me update it go to project settings scroll down change project paste it over here and set the project now how you have to update you have to just click on anywhere in the google cloud on the top and then it will be open you have to just copy the project id now just do it like this now here you can see the head deployment id is not showing here so how we'll do it let me show you again come to the deploy click on test deployment again it is not showing over here so maybe it might show over here but in my case it is not showing so how you can enable you have to just click on it google workspace add-on and then copy the head deployment id now just come to here wait a second come to here and then just paste the deployment id over here and just here we have to add the email so how will you add the mail so just come over here and select your student url so basically you have to just select it paste over here and just save it now after saving it does not end here we have to just reload the browser and make the users live basically the chatbot live to it so it's taking some time so wait for it now here you will be able to see that it will show live to all users okay then we have to just save it we have to simply save it okay just come down over here and just save it it will take some time finally the configuration has been saved now come back to the lab instruction and check the score we will get full score without any issue and if you follow the way i have done you will definitely get full score now do like the video and subscribe the channel if you face any issue you can let me know in the comment section thank you guys have a great day ahead